Good morning, Gariga Tarpins, and welcome to another week here in our Counselor's Corner. This week, we're going to be talking about a couple of calming down strategies that you guys can do, especially when you're not feeling so well. Sometimes I know with everything that's going on, you may be feeling, you know, a little stressed, a little sad, worried, maybe even mad, right? Those emotions are perfectly fine and perfectly normal. The first cool down or calming down strategy that I wanted to share with you guys today is called the glitter jar. That's right, and I even have some in my office. Um, a glitter jar is just, you know, it could be in a water bottle, and uh, you fill it up with um, some water, and then you just add glitter. It's just as easy as that. And um, anytime that you're feeling a little anxious, maybe you have a test coming up, or maybe you are going to study for a test, or you're about to get your test results, um, and you're feeling a little jittery, um, go ahead and you can make a, a glitter jar at home. And something to help you calm down, you would just shake the glitter jar, shake it as much as you need to, to release that tension. And then you place the jar on the table. You settle in to watch the glitter fall. You can keep your eyes on the glitter until it all settles down. You know, watch it, you know, just float gently down. And you can just start feeling yourself calm down as well. Another cool down uh, strategy that I wanted to share with you guys today, it's called the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 uh, cool down strategy. And it uh, allows you to use your senses. It's very easy. You don't need any uh, materials, really. You just need yourself. Um, you know, when you feel like you are about to start, you know, your class or you are going to start a test even at home you can do this to kind of calm you down and get you ready to focus um, the first thing you need to do is just sit in a quiet um, space in a quiet room and just start thinking and naming five things that you can see okay anything that you can see with your eyes then after you are able to um, say those five things and you can move on to four notice four things that you can hear so that's why you have to be very quiet and very still right and once you start noticing four things that you can hear then you go down to three three notice three things that you can smell okay so wherever you're at you know wherever you think that you need um, to calm down right start noticing three things that you can smell after that, you move on to two. Notice two things that you can touch, okay, with your hands. And then after noticing those two things, you can move on to see if you can notice one thing you can taste. And of course, that might take a little while, but in that process, as you're doing those things, you're going to feel yourself just relaxing a little bit because you're taking, you're, you're stopping, um, you're not thinking about what the problem or problem you're having. You're starting to think and focusing on something else and that's going to make you calm down. All right, boys and girls, I hope that you guys um, are able to use uh, one or even both of these two calming strategies whenever you're feeling, you know, um, sad, mad, nervous, you know, frustrated. Um, and I hope that you will share with me when I meet with you in your classes on Thursday and Friday. I hope that you will uh, share with me um, if you have used these. All right. Take care, everyone, and we will see you soon.